The Weed of the Week brought to you by Show Me Shortline and the Richiger Flexigrain Storage System. Affordable, flexible storage is here. Richiger R-Series bagger and unloader from Show Me Shortline. Maximize your profits with adaptable storage and management. Reduce storage costs and gain a competitive edge by selling at the right time. Visit us online at showmeshortline.com. We have our Weed of the Week. We probably don't need to tell you how to identify it. It's field sand burr. And this weed, as it matures, puts a big old burr, or well, puts a number of burrs right yeah. on top of the plant. So it's a grass plant with all these burrs on the top that stick to everything. Well, you know, I was just thinking about it. Here it is, summertime. Last week we talked about cockle burr. This week it's field sand burr. When we had pets growing up, they absolutely oh. hated this time of the year because there would be burrs out there from sand burr and cockle burr. It would stick on the fur. It was a real mess. And actually, they'd stick on our shoelaces and our, our clothing, too. Well, here's the other thing is sweet corn. This was an area where we didn't used to have a lot of options for weed control, especially for grass control later on in the summer. And sand burr is a warm season grass. We'll see more of it popping up later in the season. So you get into June and you get into July and you start seeing lots of field sand burr coming. Well, those pre-emerge herbicides are typically not very good on field sand burr control. So you have to come back with something later. Well, well sweet corn you just you have, didn't have options. Well, plus you don't have good crop canopy with the sweet corn because it doesn't get real big like field corn would. So what are you going to do? today if you have sand burr in your sweet corn. Well, I guess let's talk about sand burr control everywhere. And first of all, even though I said a lot of the pre's aren't very good on controlling sand burr, they still suppress it a little bit. So you do want to put some kind of pre out there, whether it's Harness or Dual or Outlook. Any of those products are nice. They do have some level of control. The one that I like the best in corn is Eradicane. You use Eradicane at seven pints or a little bit better. It's a good strong rate. It needs to be double incorporated for best performance and instantly incorporated. And that one actually does pretty good on field sand burr control, even season long. Balance or Balance Flex do a nice job on field sand burr control. If you could guarantee me we're going to get at least an inch of rain every week. On years where you get lots of rain throughout the growing season, Balance really does a nice job. Well, we're talking about this a lot in corn because, like Darren said earlier, sand burr will come up a little later in the season. So that's why you've got such a focus here. Post-emerge in corn, certainly Roundup is very good on field sand burr. But also you could go out there with Accent, and there are a few other grass herbicides that are okay on it. But Roundup and Accent are the very best. Also, if you threw a little bit of Atrazine in somewhere along the line, that could have some impact as well. Okay, let's look at soybeans. Now, field sand burr control on soybeans is no big issue at all because most of the beans in our country now are either Roundup Ready beans or they're starting to be more Liberty Link soybeans and you can easily control sand burr with Roundup. Now with Liberty you do need to watch it and do a little bit of scouting and get out there when that sand burr is real small. If it gets big and especially when it starts tillering then field sand burr can be kind of tough for Liberty or Ignite to control. Well you can talk about these post-emerge things in soybeans but I like to focus on the pre's because if you get a good strong rate of Treflan, Sonalan, or Prowl out there you're using usually not going to have a whole lot of sand burr coming back later in the season. Well, of course, the grass killers like Select Max and Assure, they can do a nice job on sand burr too. Kind of like I said with Liberty and Ignite, you do want to watch it, get out there when they're fairly small. You don't want those sand burr plants to get big and tiller out, otherwise they're very difficult to control. Okay, what are you going to do in wheat? If you had some sand burr coming up in wheat, is there anything that's going to be 100% control? Well, here you're talking about a grass crop and killing a grass weed <laughs> and it's really difficult because yep. that product has to be very selective not to hurt your grass crop, in this case wheat, but it also has to be very deadly to the weeds. So field sand burr is not one we're typically fighting in wheat very often. You can certainly deal with it in rotation where you're planting a different crop like Roundup Ready soybeans where you can just completely wipe out that sand burr. But if you are in wheat, we typically recommend starting with something like prepare pre-emerge in areas where that's labeled, then come back in crop either with one of the ALS type products, depending on if you're in winter wheat or spring wheat, or one of the ACCA's products. But again, just like in soybeans, you've got to catch that sand burr when it's real small if you want to do a good so job. So in other words, you can try Axial Discover, Puma, maybe even Powerflex, Maverick, Olympus. None of them are going to be perfect. I guess our best suggestion is just get your wheat crop up and growing good and then sand burr won't usually show up later on. Okay, here's one thing that we didn't talk about when we were discussing identification of field sand burr. With any grass crop, whether it's corn or wheat or field sand burr, the seed remains attached to the root 
foot yep. right where it was planted or right where it started from or, or sprouted from the spring. So with field sand burr, the seed is actually one of those little sand burrs. So if you're digging up field sand burr and you're kind of brushing off the roots with your fingers, be careful because <laughs> you will find the burr eventually. And that's a good way if you aren't sure if it's a sand burr or not and it's still fairly small, just dig the plant up carefully and find that seed and you will see that burr. Uh, underneath field sand burr. Once again, field sand burr can be a real problem all across the United States and the world, but we have many different ways to control it in a variety of crops. That's it for our Weed of the Week, but Iron Talk is coming up next.